here, bro? I'm heading up to North Wales with my son today. A long old trip, but we have a very healthy tailwind to help us along. Oh yeah, don't forget the my ear ache. I know, you have to let me know. So we're going off to Harden today. We're taking Bertie up there for a couple of nights away. We're just crossing runway 29 at Biggin Hill, which is no longer in use as a runway, sadly. And we're making our way down to the run-up area. Visibility is pretty pretty unpleasant today, or about nine kilometres, I think. Um, improved since it was this morning. It was quite bad earlier on. We'll be routing to the west overhead Farnborough, then uh, through the Bryce Norton zone, uh, hopefully above it, and then northwesterly to Gloucester then overhead Wolverhampton and then uh, finally to Harden. The flight has been conducted IFR, Instrument Flight Rules, because of the poor visibility and some low cloud en route. Worryingly though, as I taxi down to the run-up area, I notice a clonking sound and I can't see what's causing it. That rattling. The noise disappeared after doing the power checks, but then reappeared as I sat at the holding point for the runway. ATC let me shut down here so I could take a look. I made sure that the baggage compartment was shut, the engine cowling latched, and looked and felt for anything loose. I didn't find anything, so I concluded it was safe to depart. The most likely cause of the noise was the door not shut properly or a seatbelt caught in it. I didn't hear the noise again. Right, are we ready to go? Aye aye, Cathy. Pressure's fine. 65 knots. Woohoo! This is fun! <laughs> this is bumpy. It'll get a bit better as we get higher. My son has travelled this route with me before, but that time my husband was on board to keep him entertained. With time en route estimated to be an hour and a half, he had a handful of comics and two video games consoles to keep him amused. But that didn't stop him wanting to chat away to me as I tried to navigate some pretty complex airspace. Why do I feel like some, like, few miles beyond those clouds in space and we're about to touch it? Dad? Hang on, so I'm busy for a bit, darling. Play your game now, darling, if you want to. I don't want to. You don't want to? I just want to look at the views. Quite good, isn't it? And you can have your snack if you want to. Waiting. Till the time is right. You can have it now, darling. It's definitely snack time. Okay. Bad. One second, please, darling. Cold. You're cold. Are you? Yes. All right. I'll put the heater on then. Why is it so, so cold in here? I've put the heater on a bit, but I'm a bit hot. And I feel like my ears are going to pop. Are they all right? Well, well... They don't hurt, do they? Hurt. Kind of. Just give blow, do what I told you, remember, but not too hard. Yeah, not too hard, and they may pop them. If you're taking young children on board, on your own, then be prepared for distractions. So we're on our way to Hard and we've just uh, cleared through um, Farnborough's airspace. That's always, that's a busy section of flight. The visibility is, even though it's sort of nine kilometres, it's very, very milky. Now, coming up in this flight shortly, I will uh, have a little treat for you, a new feature. So stay tuned, that's coming up shortly. You're right. 
don't look very happy. I'm happy, it's just that... It's just that it's taking quite a long time. I know, but it's a long way, isn't it? You've got your game to play, haven't you? Yep. So we're just uh, six miles southeast of Gloucester. Bry Zone has, uh, Bry's radar has kindly told Gloucester we're coming overhead, so we don't need to speak to them. We're between uh, cloud layers, pretty, not, not much to look at down here. So um, I'm going to introduce a new feature to our video, and that is the Flying Reporter Quiz. <laughs> the answers at the end of the film, towards the end of the film, so stay tuned for the answer to that question. Harden, information, acknowledge receipt of information, November. I'm checking on the weather at Harden to find out what type of approach I'm going to make. Surface wind 140, 10 knots, visibility 6 kilometer, broken 1,500 feet, temperature plus 6, dew point plus 3, QNH 1022. And Golf Oscar Romeo would like to start descent to altitude 2,800 feet. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, descent to altitude 2,800 feet. Uh, say QNH, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, shall we QNH 1022? I'd use my formula of three times the altitude to lose divided by 1,000 to know when to initiate my descent. What I hadn't factored in was my stonkingly fast ground speed of 140 knots. This has left me fast approaching controlled airspace at 3,000 feet ahead. That's something I will have to bear in mind for the future. Air traffic control on this flight was fantastic. Controllers were handing me over from one unit to the next. That cut down my workload immensely. Golf Oscar Romeo, contact Harden Radar 123 decimal 350. Harden Radar 123 decimal 350. Cheerio, Golf Oscar Romeo. Right. Harden Radar Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo heading 330 degrees, passing through 4,300 feet for 2,800 feet. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo Harden Radar, good afternoon. Identified on handover traffic service. Let's spread out your descent of base controlled airspace in your 12 o'clock, 3 miles is 3,000 feet. Identified traffic service, expediting descent, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, just confirm looking for an ILS. ILS 2-2 uh, please, with radar vectors if possible. Golf Oscar Romeo, A-Firm, veteran ice approach runway 2-2. Two, two. Vectors ILS 2-2, two, two, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, descent to altitude 2,400 feet. 2,400 feet, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, turn right heading 020 degrees, the QNH Harden 1022. 020 degrees, 1022, Golf Oscar Romeo. What is the first thing we're doing? Busy, darling. Golf Oscar Romeo now entering the Liverpool Control Zone, radar control service, traffic service on leaving. Radar control service entering the control zone and traffic service on leaving. Golf Oscar Romeo. And Golf Oscar Romeo, turn left by heading 280 degrees. Left 280 degrees, Golf Oscar Romeo. Turn left heading 250 degrees, close the localizer from the left. Left 250 degrees, close the localizer from the left. Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, when established, descend on the glide path, Harden QNH 1022. When established, descend on the glide path, QNH 1022. Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, localizer established. 
Belfast Swim here, thank you. Approaching six miles from touchdown. Contact Haddon Tower, 124 decimal 950. Haddon Tower, 124 decimal 950. Go Post Caribbean. Harden Tower, Gulf, Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, localizer established, 22 ILS. Gulf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Harden Tower, good afternoon, runway 22, damp for lens, clear to land, 7150 degrees, 10 knots. Clear to land, uh, Gulf Oscar Romeo. I'm barely two miles from touchdown. Harden has its runway lights on, but I still can't see them. We're about to land, darling, so make sure you're all strapped in nice and tightly. As I approach my decision altitude, out of the haze, the runway emerges. The camera isn't quite as good as my eyes, so it can't pick it up yet. Keep looking, though, and you'll see it shortly. Golf Oscar Romeo, request taxi to Harden Air Services. Golf Oscar Romeo, vacate right to Alpha Taxi, open November, via Alpha Juliet, November. We're here. You're right. No. What's the matter? Ew. Ew. Okay, well, get your sick bag ready, darling. So here we are, we have landed at Harden. Time for the answer to my quiz. I asked you, what does this ground signal mean? Now, I've never seen one of these in real life. It's two red balls on a signal mast, and it means that glider flying is in progress at the aerodrome in question. Well done if you got that right, especially if you got it right without looking it up in your textbooks. I'm taxiing to parking now and looking forward to a cup of tea. Did you enjoy the flight? Yes. It's quicker than driving, isn't it? Quicker. You should know what these buttons mean by now, so to support the channel, please subscribe and hit like. See you soon for the return leg. Bye for now.